cool if we do that gradual tempo change down to 100. Then coming back up. Hello, my name is Robbie Sko, and in this video, I'll give a brief introduction to the language of CliffX Pro, which can truly revolutionize your workflow either in the studio or in your live performance setup. All right, we're on our way to building an incredibly expressive and versatile live looping setup. This video in the series lays the foundation for how to get started with the most powerful control script for Ableton Live, CliffX Pro. Going through this setup will make the next videos in this series much easier to digest and give a glimpse into a few of CliffX Pro's features. All right, so CliffX Pro is a MIDI remote script that works as a scripting language. So similar to when you buy a different MIDI controller in the settings, you'll add in your different control surface. So here you're going to add in CliffX Pro as a control surface, but it's not going to have an actual hardware that goes with it. You can kind of use it with even just simple key commands or other hardware that you already have. So what you can do with this is nearly limitless, okay? But it allows users to control a wide range of lives functions using simple word commands and parameters. And these commands can be triggered in any combination by a single clip launch or a controller move. And there's a command for pretty much everything that Ableton can do with clips, scenes, tracks, and devices, and much, much more. Daniel Menceris, who's played with St. Vincent and David Byrne says, CliffX Pro is an invaluable tool for live performance. It gives us one more avenue to get away from the mouse or trackpad. It can help with visual feedback and generally bend Ableton Live to our will more easily while we focus on the music. And Mr. Bill posted a really great tutorial on CliffX Pro saying this thing is ridiculous. And he, he's right, he's right. So I'm just gonna get some very basic kind of like easy ways to kind of get started with it. So we'll start with like a first, a very simple X clip It all starts off with an identifier. So we use these brackets to kind of give you an identifier. A good one a lot of people start off with is Metro. So just by clicking this, turns the metronome on and off. You can notice already that it's quantized, which you might not always want. So you can go into here and set the quantization. Instead of set to global, set it to none. So we can immediately have that metronome be toggling on and off. All right, but now let's get to some more actions that can use some of these drum samples that we have in here already. So for example, we can just set in, after putting that identifier, we just put BPM 80. And then just like we did with Ableton by itself, you can kind of just change that BPM right away. And now something that's very interesting that you can't do with Ableton by itself is you can have that tempo ramp up or gradually go up in a certain time increment. So we're gonna add in something new. We'll do BPM ramp four, 100. So with this command, that four is going to be measured in hundreds of milliseconds. So BPM ramp four, 100 will be telling Ableton to over 400 milliseconds change to 100 beats per minute. So let's see how that works. Boom, just like that. All right, now let's kind of bring this way down to something like 50. Right, so this is 400 milliseconds is so quick, you're not gonna hear it too much. So let's hear something larger, so we can kind of see that gradual tempo change. that's gonna be a way to do it that is time sensitive. But now even more interesting way to do it is to use BPM ramps. So the way BPM ramps works is that you can go up in a certain number of quarter notes or based on whatever your time signature is, I'll show you different ways to do it. So for example, if I go into make a new clip and I'll write in BPM ramps, right? So it's synced to the tempo we have and then four, it's gonna go take four beats to get to the 
back to 4-4, and now we play this. And after four beats, it goes up to 120 beats per minute. All right. Now let's change this over here to ramp S. Eight. 100. Very cool. So we have that gradual tempo change down to 100. Then coming back up. Yeah, so those numbers have it go up in quarter note increments, but you can also have it go up in bars. For example, if I hit it for B120, where B stands for bar in my global time signature here. Now, all right, bring it back to 100. Now, if I hit this, it's going to take four bars to go from 100 to 120, which is nice for a gradual accelerando. Excellent. Now, again, just a note, if you're in a different time signature, using the ramps for X number of bars may not work as well. So you can use the solution I laid out here in the forums. By the way, the CliffX Pro forum hosted at the CliffX Pro creators, Straya's website, Native Control, is an excellent resource for users diving deep into CliffX Pro's capabilities with Ableton. And Stray himself is very responsive in the forums. Link to that in the description. All right, and now I'm gonna intro to CliffX using action lists, so, right? So just like over here, when we were in the scenes, we added a semicolon to kind of change the tempo and the time signature. We can do a similar thing with CliffX. So we're gonna do that right here. I'll add in some new text. Right clicking, hit rename, or you can use Control R, Command R. And then we go to EPM 130 colon and 3 4. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. Next up, we'll dive into how to turn Ableton Live into a highly customizable live looping setup using CliffX Pro. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing so you can build upon these skills and stay up to date on some newer production techniques. Also, feel free to leave any comments or questions you may have in the comments below. Thank you, and until next time, peace.